What's up everybody, it's your boy Randall D, Tech Geek ROD, back again with another video. And for the longest, I've been wanting to do a discussion video about the Xbox One X and the PC gaming market, or as a matter of fact, to rephrase all that, the 4K gaming situation we in right now. So, as you know, the PS4 Pro is on the market, the Xbox One X is on the market, and you also have the PC gaming, which has been on the market for years, but is at a more affordable price structure now, to where you can get 4K gaming on a PC like this for about, I wanna say about $700. You know, I don't wanna say 400 or 300 or 500, like the current consoles, but when you step down to 500 level in a PC situation, you'll be taking a lot of shortcuts. So I'm gonna say about $700 will get you a nice gaming rig that can run games at 4K. Now, the problem with the 4K market right now or the 4K consoles is the fact that they are marketing these consoles and being able to play 4K, which they can, they can run games at 4K, but you don't wanna play games at 4K at 30 frames per second. You want to play your games at 60 frames per second. Now, the whole purpose of this video is for me just saying that the reason why I, will, I refuse to buy Xbox One X is because the price point at $499, if I'm paying $499 for a video game system that's only going to play games, of course you can do YouTube, Netflix, YouTube at 1080p by the way on Xbox, YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Video, all the video services will be in 4K except for YouTube. I don't know why. That's that don't make sense. Um, but at 4.99 plus, there is the 4K Blu-ray player. So maybe that's. But you can get that in the Xbox One S. You can get a 4K Blu-ray player. So 4.99 for a console. If I pay 499 dollars for a console, it better be able to do 4K 60 frames per second. But it doesn't. A lot of games on the Xbox One X will run games at 4K, but they will be at 30 frames per second. And I, to be honest, I'd rather play 1080p at 60 frames per second instead of playing a game at 4K 30 frames per second. Now, for those who are not tech savvy, the difference in 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second is the smoothness of the visuals and the responsiveness of the controller and the visuals and what you see on screen. For example, all of the most, all, I can say, I can say all of them, because not all of them are six frames per second, but 90% of first person shooter games are ran at 60 frames per second. Because when you're playing a multiplayer game, when you press that trigger button, you need to see the response immediately. That's why those games are at 60 frames per second. So, now you got Destiny 2 that came out on Xbox One S, and Xbox and PS4, all the systems. For some reason, Destiny 2 is ran at 30 frames per second, which is a fail. But to play it at 60 frames per second, you'll need a PC. I think the PS4 may do 60 frames per second. Sound off in the comment section, I might be wrong. But on the console space, on the Xbox territory, I did buy the game for Xbox. The game is at 30 frames per second. The game is beautiful, but it would be a much better experience if it was at 60 frames per second, but it's not. Now, all multiplayer first person shooter games, like I said, are at 60 frames per second. Gears of War 4, all the Gears of War games, I think they're at 60 frames per second. They might be 1080p or 900p, but they're 60 frames per second. All the Call of Duty games on multiplayer are 60 frames per second. Doom, 60 frames per second so all these games where the smoothness is beautiful is at 60 frames per second now on xbox one x they do have a couple titles that that are xbox one x enhanced but once you play those games at 4k they're at 30 frames per second and that's terrible for example rise of the tomb raider it's beautiful at 4k but it's at 30 frames per second now, once you dial back to 60 frames per second, or dial up the frame rate to 60 frames per second, the visuals will be cut down to 1080p. So now you're playing Tomb Raider at 1080p, 60 frames per second, 
And honestly, that's the best experience to play it at. Any game, games period, needs to be ran at 60 frames per second. I cannot say that, you know, anymore. But for some reason on the console space, they're advertising 4K as the next big thing, but the 4K games are being ran at 30 frames per second. And not to mention the texture details may be at like medium, I can say low. They're probably at medium textures. So you got medium textures and you got 30 frames per second, but it's 4K. Mind you, 4K is only the sharpness, the crispness of the details. But what's the point of the sharpness if the quality is not high or ultra quality visuals? You see what I'm saying? So it's all a money scheme. You know, to get 4K 60 frames per second, that requires a beast of a machine. For example, even my PC here could barely run games at 4K 60 frames per second. It could probably run games like Geometry Wars, um, you know, simple games. And I have a, a AMD pro a graphics processor in here, and I have a Ryzen 3 processor. But for the GPU, I have an AMD, I have an AMD GPU. I forgot which model it is, but I can run all games at 1080p 60 frames per second easily. And you have a nice, beautiful case with LED lights, LED fans, better visuals. So the PC space, if you want quality visuals, the PC space is where you need to go. But on the console space, on the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X, they're selling us this, these systems that can run games at 4K, but at medium visuals and at 30 frames per second. And at $499, that's like that's almost like $540 after tax. If I pay $500 for a console, it needs to be able to do 4K at 60 frames per second. And the current specs of the current consoles they cannot do that. They cannot live up to 4K 60 frames per second. They just, they can't do that. So that's my biggest gripe about the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro. I'm a big Xbox fan. You know, I got all these controllers. All my games are digital purchases. I've had every Xbox console. I'm a big tech video game person, but the Xbox One X and PS4 Pro, I refuse. I, I can't do it. So. To the most point, the best budget or marketing console out there to me personally is the Xbox One S. At $199, you can get a console, about $250. You can get a console that upscales to 4K, even though it's 1080p or 900p, but you get a 4K Blu-ray player and you get HDR. So those two, even the HDR alone is better than you know 4k you know because hdr is better colors better visuals so i, I kind of wish they would have capitalized on running games at 1080p ultra visuals 60 frames per second that would have been a better bigger marketing scheme but they're pushing you know it's all about money nowadays you know they flew 4k you know let's push on that but it's, it's it's still the same games it's still the same visuals it's just sharper now, if they would have made it 60 frames, it would have been sharper and smoother. That would be worth $4.99, ladies and gentlemen. But it's not. So, it is what it is. I just want to do that quick video about that. You know, the PC gaming space is where it's at. But all of my friends and family members are still on consoles, which is a cheaper gaming platform. So... I still gotta buy all of my games on consoles so I can play with them. But as more people start to hop over to the PC world, you know, eventually consoles will kind of fade out eventually. That's kind of how I feel. As more people, as prices from different parts and motherboards and processors and GPUs start to come down more, more people will be investing in gaming computers. So it's, it's all about time. You know, it, it is what it is. So. Just a little quick video on how I feel about the Xbox One X, why I refuse to buy it, even with tax time around the corner. People getting, you know, $4,000, $5,000, $10,000 back tax time, you know, rubbing hands like bird, man, that money coming in. Even with people getting all this tax money, me getting tax money, I refuse to buy an Xbox One X. I, I just can't do it. I'd rather invest that into my PC that can run a YouTube channel, that can run a Twitch channel, 
that can do video editing, that can do Microsoft Office, that can do all this other stuff besides gaming. Whereas uh, Xbox One X, you pay four ninety nine, and the games are sixty frame. The games are four K, but medium visuals, thirty frames per second, fail. So it is what it is. It's your boy Take Geek RLD, and if you like, if you like what I said, you know, if you, you feel the same way, you know, hit that like button. If you don't like what I said, I guess you could dislike it. Don't don't do that though. Don't hit that dislike button. But subscribe to the channel. It's your boy Randall D. Take Geek RLD, and you know my slogan. They gonna learn today. All right.